Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. It is going to be a good week for you guys because the zodiac energy is uh, the energy of the sun. So, um, the energy of the week is going to be an urge energy. So, this is good. So, you have the energy of your um, zodiac of the your sister or brother sign that is happening so it's a good week for you Aries as I look at your week it's going to be wonderful the week is the first week of August 2017 and the week begins from the 31st of July until the 6th of uh, July I want to say this is going to be your energy vibration for this week you Aries it's gonna be a wonderful week for you guys three of swords heartbreak but whatever the heartbreak is it's going to get better because it can be heartbreak for some people who are with the energy vibration of the king of, of coins and this situation um, you have learned your lesson and it's time to move away from this person whatever it is so there's going to be heartbreak for um, you um, you um, Aries but um, this heartbreak is a less learn is a karmatic less and it's a less learn you need to let go and move on okay as we look at your week um, your week have the energy of the Sun so this is good the, the, you, you, this is a magical week for you Aries because you have the energy of the Sun and the magician governing your week so this is good whenever you have the energy of the Sun you're vibrating in the energy of uh, the fire week this is going to be good for you Aries because whatever the energy vibration is that is coming out of this week you're going to see positive results coming so you have the energy of the Sun and uh, the energy of the magician on Thursday is going to be a day when you have the energy of the king of cups and worries with the king of cups whatever that situation is it's going to be cleared up because on Friday you have the eight of Pentacles and the eight of swords and the eight of Pentacles the ten of Pentacles and the ten of Pentacles is a good positive energy that is going to come in so whatever your worries was on Thursday it's going to clear up on Friday on Saturday you have the energy of the Queen of coins and this is wonderful on Saturday because the Queen of coins there is going to be a judgment that is happening so um, it's going to be positive information because I see as if you are going shopping with this person and this is good it's two female that is connecting and you could be connecting with this queen of coins you both are going to shop whatever it is the universal angels are blessing you guys with something as we move forward you have the four of pentacles which mean you're balancing out your financial situation in this week it's going to be good and you have the king of wands so whoever this king of wands is you're trying to balance out your own financial situation uh, the king of wands is here but you know I love this energy that is coming in because it's for some people it's the king of wands and for other people it's the king of um, is the king of swords so whatever it's happening you're balancing your financial situation out so overall it's going to be a magical week because uh, you have magic and the Sun um, being the forecast of your week and this is going to be good we're moving in the readings and whatsoever is happening on Monday you have the five of Pentacles in reverse okay so whatsoever that was happening whatever hardship you felt yourself in you have the five of Pentacles in were reverse whoever this Queen of Cups was have no longer effect on you because you have the three of Pentacles which you're working on something that is going to be wonderful so whatever your situation um, was with money and feeling as if you're feeling hardship and whatever because of this Queen of Cups uh, it's gonna be okay because you have the energy of the three of, 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 of Pentacles coming in so this is going to be good so you have water and uh, water water and uh, hurt energies on Monday on Tuesday we have the Queen of Swords whoever this Queen of Swords is 
um, you know don't worry about her because you have a strong foundation um, with your financial situation again sir so it's another Pentacles uh, um, sign the four of Pentacles four of Pentacles is you know you're feeling as if you know you're um, protecting yourself against from the Queen of Swords, whoever she is, she has been coming up in a lot of readings. So this can be an Aries, a Gemini, or Aries, Gemini, or a Sagittarian. So whoever this person is, you're protecting yourself from her. You're protecting your financial situation from her also, and you're going to come out on top, whatever the situation is. Here we are in the middle of the week. We have the energy of the magician. I love the energy of this magician because you have the energy of the sun. You guys were the first person to get the energy of the sun, so this is good. So what it is saying is that your week is going to be magical, and whatever has been happening, new opportunities, uh, success is going to come to you because you have what it is to bring success in your life so it's going to be a positive positive energy energy of the Sun is 19 that's 10 new beginnings so you have the energy vibration of the new beginnings in this week so it's going to be wonderful as we look at Thursday we have the king of cups for you guys and you have worries you're worrying about this king of cup whoever this energy of this king of cup is it could be a father figure that you know he's not feeling well and whatever the situation is uh, do not worry about this because it's going to be okay so be aware don't you worry about this because it's going to be okay because on Friday you have the ten of Pentacles coming up and it's going to be wonderful so it could be payday for some people but yet still um, who whatever is happening the ten of Pentacles is coming in and so it's this money that is coming to you um, um, from family that sort of a thing and uh, you know you you are now you know the eight of swords is uh, you you weren't seeing things clearly and the ten of Pentacles comes to say that whatever your financial situation is it's going to be okay on Saturday we have another queen of uh, uh, coins here so we have the queen of swords the queen of coins here and this is a good person to have in your, by your side and I didn't even see this this is going to be judgment and it's going to be good judgment so whoever this queen of coins is who is a Capricorn uh, Taurus or a Virgo she's going to be wonderful because she's going to be taking you out and you guys are going to be going shopping it's like the universe has blessed you guys with something and this is going to be super super wonderful on Saturday so whoever um, has somebody who is a, a Capricorn and I'm, I'm, I'm getting Capricorn Capricorn a Virgo or a Taurus in their lives on Saturday you're going to go in shopping with them you're going to be feeling good with them the four of pentacles is here people are thinking that you're holding on in your money but you're not it's a magical week money is coming in uh, the four is good because you have the king of wands so whoever this king of wands is be aware that your financial situation is going to be balanced no matter what he's trying to do or no matter what he's uh, you know provoking to do uh, be aware that whatever your financial situation is you're in balance and you know even if people are trying to say that you know you don't want to give away anything and whatever it is your money I mean um, whatever the situation is and whoever this king of Pentacles is that is you know saying to you that you are you know you're holding on to your money whatever it is you're doing the best that you can okay don't let people talk you into stuff love is there love yes there is the energy of the king of uh, cups uh, the energy of love in this uh, um this this week is not very uh, vocal it's only the people who are connected with the king of cups you are going to have a situation that you're worried about certain things certain aspect in your life you're worried about this man it could be that he's sick is not feeling well that sort of a thing that can be it is an older person um, for some of you so it could be your father and that sort of a situation so uh, that the energy of love is about a situation that is not really good because it's as if uh, this person is sick and you're worried you you have sleepless nights and you're worried whatever is happening you guys have no worries about money in this week and there is so much major arcana that is here because you have 
uh, so much wonderful energies because the air energies are coming in and bringing a little luck and magic with the magician and the sun together in this week so it's going to be a promising week for you guys and whatever the situation is uh, of you worrying about somebody a elderly person in your life uh, on um you know you need to let it go let it go let it go because you can't change anything the number four is going to play a significant role in your week this week the number four uh, is going to play a significant role judgment is coming but it's good judgment it's judgment about money coming in so um, that is going to be good whatever the sword energies are um, you have nothing to worry about and you have only the energy of the number four which you know that is you know strange but yet still that is what the energy gives up so be aware that whatever is happening in your life um, accept accept um, accept really the situation and open up to whatever the situation is so love is not going to be work is going to be very good because whatever you're doing that you you are bringing money in your life money uh, materialistic wealth you're bringing that in your life that is what you're your for your vocal you're focusing on and on saturday you're going to go out to the queen of pentacles with the capricorn as a taurus or a, um a virgo and it's going to it's going to be good because you guys are going to feel good about yourself whatsoever is happening do not be worried about whatever is happening in your life because you're going to see positive new changes coming up in your life i'm using um the um conscious spirit this week again I'm sorry but um, there is we have to let you guys know that you can ask the um, the night dimensional beam to help you with your financial situation and that sort of a thing and we have balance so for you Aries it's really going to be balanced with your financial situation whatever that is it's going to be balanced so I understand and embrace the um, op the opposition forces in life that brings about balance so I understand and embrace the opposition forces in my life that bring about balances so yeah sometimes this is hard to really swallow but don't worry about it because whatever is supposed to happen will happen and no matter who or what think they can um, change whatever situation when the universe realize and see what is happening they self will step in okay so ask the universal angels for help i'm asking the oracle what is the message for the aries sun moon and rising in this week and we have truth be told the truth be told so i know when that energy of the truth be told is as if um People are saying things, but it doesn't have to be um, true, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be true. People can say things, but it doesn't have to vibrate with your energy vibration. And this is this honesty, accepting things at face value, um, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication there is the truth which is the essential of things and there and then is there the truth subjective according to philosophy of the abandonment of believers okay so this is what they're saying people see the truth from their aspect this is not a time for debate about which truth is, which truth is true this is a time when you're called to proclaim your truth out loudly and be willing to trans, uh, transparent honesty and openness in your communication with others and with yourself. Nothing less than surrender to what is. Peel off the layers of denial that kept you trying and tied to an illusion will set you free. Be alternative and gloriously faultless, and spirit will answer with miracles. So this is a wonderful message to leave you Aries with. And I want to say, have a wonderful week. Thank you for being here. Please like, share these videos, listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign, and have a wonderful week. Namaste.